Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Hamdan yuafi na'amahu wa yukafi wa mazida Ya Rabbi laka alhamdu kama yanbaghi li jalali wajhika wa li azimi sultanika Subhanaka la nuhsi thana'an alayka anta kama athnayta ala nafsik Glory to you, we cannot praise you as you have praised yourself Alhamdu lilla wa salamun ala ibadihi ladhi nastafa Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Nurika sari wa madadika jari Wajma'ni bihi fi kulli atwari Wa iyahum wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ya nur Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Mithahi babi rahmatillah Adada ma fi ilmillah Salatan wa salaman bidawami mulkillah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatih lima ugliq wal khatam lima sabaq Nasir al-Haq bil-Haq wal-Hadi ila siratika al-Mustaqim Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqdarihi al-Azim Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, it is Rabi' al-Awwal Allahumma laka al-Hamd Alhamdulillah, Allah brought us together with people who we love and we ask Allah to accept that from us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to show some gratitude for this ni'mah of Allah, which is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. As Sahib bin Abdullah at Tustari said, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا Were you to try to count the favor of Allah, you could not encompass it. Sahab bin Abdullah said, Ni'matullah is Muhammad. فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانَ Allah said, and through him you all became brothers. And we ask Allah to bring us closer through him, and it's a time when the, the ummah, we need to come close. And we need to support one another. And those who come close through this ni'mah of Allah, they're the ones who are used to support Al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. هُوَ الَّذِي أَيَّدَكَ بِنَصْرِهِ وَبِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ Allah said, He it is, speaking to His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He it is who aided you with sukur, with assistance from Himself, and with what? With the believers. And what is the attribute of those believers who are used to aid Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? وَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ And He brought their hearts together. And Nabi Muhammad, if, were, if he were to spin, and he's the one who could spin everything in the world because the keys of everything in the world were with him. But Allah said, declaring his favor, Were you to spin everything in the world, you could not bring their hearts together. But Allah brought them together, and we ask Allah to bring us together. And that Allah enable us to assist the Prophet wasallam. And Sidi Nader mentioned attributes of those Medinan hearts. The hearts of that city, Tayyibah, after the Prophet ﷺ came, that was known as the pure place. Prior to that, being known as Yathrib, which one, from its meanings is corruption. So a place that was known for fasad, after he entered that place, it was known as purity, and it was received, or he was received, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa by Madanan hearts, not Yathribi hearts, Taybawi hearts, pure receptive hearts. And what was the attribute of those hearts that received Al Habib, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa that enabled him to come and do his thing? Or by Allah, the circumstances were or the fertile soil for him to come this ni'mah and for them to become ikhwan. They had the attribute of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for one another, and love of Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the greatest beloved. So when he entered and they sang, as was mentioned, Tala al-Badr alayna, and he spent those days in Quba and established the masjid there, and then rode his camel that was guided by Allah to the place in which it knelt. And knelt before the dwellings of whom? The dwellings 
of people with these hearts, these tayyibawi hearts, these pure and good hearts. Inna laha tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyiba. Verily Allah is good and pure and He only accepts that which is good and pure. So how were these people that had this quality that's acceptable to Allah? These are people with whom my Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can, can reside. This is the doorstep before which my beloved can dismount. This is a place where he can put down his luggage sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the place where he can establish a masjid that is founded on taqwa from the first day in which there will be people who love to purify themselves and Allah loves those who purify themselves. How, did, how were these hearts? What were these hearts like? Were they hard like iron? Are hearts that give victory to Allah hard like iron? No matter how many outward manifestations of sunnah, even a manifestation that appears like the seal of the Prophet Sallallahu La wallah. Absolutely not. They're soft hearts. Receptive hearts. Loving hearts. Hearts of males and hearts of, of females. So when the Prophet ﷺ settled at the dwellings of Bani and Najjar, little girls came out singing. And really, like, alhamdulillah, we know that we spend time here in the British Isles. It's a little bit cold. You have certain protocols, a little bit of a stiff upper lip. But mahabba is supposed to take you over. Mahabba is supposed to take you over. Sound that is beautiful is supposed to move you. That is from the sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ censured those who tried to stop this, like Sayyidina Omar on one occasion when Banu Arfara, the Abyssinians, were doing their sword play or their spear play and saying, we love Muhammad or Muhammad is a pious man. And like the girls, uh, when uh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr uh, censured them when they were singing poetry about the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet allowed that. We should get into that. These hearts were soft. So they came out, these little girls, singing and beating duffs. And they said, we are girls from Banu Najjar. Ya Habbada, Muhammad Minjar. He said, we are girls from the tribe Banu Najjar. How beloved it is to have Muhammad as a neighbor. So the Prophet ﷺ looked at them and he said, do you all love me? This is the condition. This is the condition for the place where the, the footsteps of Habib, as uh, Sheikh Ibrahim mentioned, the one who is Allah is the foot with which he steps. These are the conditions. This is the condition of the heart for the place where that foot, uh, that where the one who Allah is the foot with which he steps will place down his feet. And will heal settle and will heal establish. Do you love me? And they said, yes, we love you. And he said, Allah knows, Allah knows that my heart loves all of you. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Enable us that we have that quality in our heart that we love Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that Allah knows that Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loves us. We ask that of Allah, and Allah's chests are vast. Fadlullah wasit, we ask Allah to enable us to truly love Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To love Al Habib and to love one another through the ni'mah of Al Habib. And to come together and aid one another in that and be used to aid Al-Habib and that Allah knows every single one of us. We ask Allah that's in His knowledge which is pre-eternal, beginningless eternal, and His will that He knows that we all are beloved to Al-Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And if we have that, we have great hope that that full moon will rise over these hearts that are hard and corrupt and full of sins and full of vices and dismount and put down his bags there. And, it will become, and they will become tayyiba. They will become good and pure. And brothers and sisters, this is a time of purification. Sidi Amir and I haven't seen each other, I think, for a year. And we ask Allah that all of us be kindred spirits and that we see each other with Al-Habib in the Akhirah. But we... we been two or three minutes talking, man, this is a trying time, Akhi. Man, I was thinking the exact same thing. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yani, we need to be purified. We need uh, 
to be accepted by Allah. There's great, 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 great good in store, insha'Allah ta'ala, for each of you when I ask that I be included among you, O Ummah of Muhammad. There's no home of, of, of the, the urban people, he said, of brick, nor of the nomads, he said, of fur, except that this religion will enter it. And brothers and sisters, many of the homes that surround you and I, the deen hasn't entered it, he said it will enter. Who's going to be used to do that? Who's going to carry the light of that Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to all of those homes? It's by the barakah of that Habib and the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But brothers and sisters, you and I are vehicles for that. And it's our hope that, that will, much of that will occur in, in this age in which we find ourselves. And that there's great, great good on the horizon for the ummah of al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if you're having hard times, فَإِنَّ مَعَلُوا سُرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَلُوا سُرِ يُسْرَى فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِذَا رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ We're having hard times. The Prophet ﷺ said, with hardship, there is an ease. Or excuse me, Allah said, Allah revealed to His beloved, with hardship, there is an ease. With this hardship, there is an ease. Why did I say with this? Because the Arabs, if they mention something definite, definite, and then follow it with this another definite, it's a, rep it's a repetition of the first definite and is the aforementioned definite. With the aforementioned hardship, hardship is mentioned once, there is an ease. And the Prophet ﷺ said, have glad tidings, ease has come to you and hardship will not overcome two eases. What is the, the way of this Habib ﷺ? Whenever you're free, then continue to toil. And what is our aspiration? وَإِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ فَرْغَ And seek your Lord, and He's our Imam in that. Brothers and sisters, we have hardship, it's going, to, it's going to come, and wallahi, it's going to go. We have hardship, it's going to come, and wallahi, it's going to go. Why do I say that? Because Allah said that. Why do we say that? Because of Habib sallallahu said that. فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ But the thing is, are you and I working in emulation of this Habib sallallahu alayhi wa فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ When you are free from any task, whether it's salah, then make dua. Whether it's tashahud, then make dua. Whether it's your fard, then it's your nafal. Whether it's your worldly preoccupations, then your aspirations to your Lord following the best of creation. فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ Strive, continue to strive. And what is our objective? Who is our aim? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ and, and desire your Lord. Seek your Lord, and, and, and He's our Imam in that. Numerous times we've heard our Shaykh say, what is this journey that we're on? How is this coming closer uh, to this beloved whom Allah was the hearing with which He heard and the sight with which He saw? As sayru ilmun wal uqulu adillatun wal rabbu qastun wal rasulu imamu the journey is knowledge. Those of reason, those of intellect, are guides. What is the aspiration? What is the objective? The aim is the Lord. Allah is the aim, brothers and sisters. And somebody in here who has waswasa, they're talking so much about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu What about Allah? Is this like shirk? What, do they love him too much? Don't have waswasa. Allah is the only aim. All of us saying this, we know that the only one loved Absolute from every perspective for his own sake is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, the only one loved absolutely from every perspective for the sake of Allah is Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For so that reason, we celebrate his love. And because it doesn't compete, it's inseparable from the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man kan Allahu wa rasuluhu ahabba ilayhi min masiwahuma. The one to whom Allah and his messenger are more beloved to him than everything else. Wallahu wa rasulu ahaqu an yurduhu. Allah and His Messenger, it's more fitting that they please Him. And, the, and, the, and the, the, the pronoun is singular. They're not, there's not any separation between this. Allah is the aim. Allah, brothers and sisters, is our aim. The aim of all of this is Allah. The aim of all of this is Allah. What? Ar Rasulu. This Habib, sallallahu alayhi wa This gift of mercy. War Rasulu Imamu. And the messenger is the imam. So brothers and sisters, he's the one who guides us on this journey to Allah. He shows us about Allah. Everything about Allah's messenger teaches you about Allah. 
Everything about the messenger teaches you about Allah. As he said, Shaykh Ibrahim mentioned in that Sahih Hadith, I am the hearing with which he hears, the sight with which he sees, the hand with which he grasps, the foot with which he walks. Who came and depicted that to all of us? Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said in the hadith of Al-Bukhari, Man ra'ani faqad ra' al-haq. If someone has seen me, he's seen al-haq. He's seen al-haq. And from the meanings of that is the real. That someone who truly gazes on the beloved of the real, that is a reflection that teaches him about the real. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So he leads us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, he's our only imam in that. If we want to overcome our sins, he's the only imam in that. If we want to be obedient to Allah, he's the only imam in that. If we want to fulfill obligations, he's the only imam in that. If we want to do many voluntary works until Allah loves us, he's the only imam in that. If we hope to be beloved to Allah, he's the imam of mahbubiyyah. He's the imam of belovedness. If we hope that Allah is the hearing with which we hear, the sight with which we see, the hands with which we grasp, the feet with which we walk, he's the imam in all of that, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa So brothers and sisters, the objective of this is that we have a connection to this imam that we learn about this Imam, that we emulate this Imam so that we're like this Imam and beloved to his Lord. Say, if you do all love Allah, you all love Allah, he's your objective, he's your aim. He's the one you want to be close to. He's the one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want him to be your hearing and sight. You want to be his caliph. You want to remind people about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to represent him on the surface of this earth. You have no recourse. I have no recourse except emulating Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمْ Allah. And Allah ordered, us, ordered him to come to us and guide us to Allah. Allah ordered Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to come to us and take us to Allah. He said to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah said to Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ Ibadi anni. When my servants ask you about me, sa'alaka ibadi anni. My servants ask you, ask who? Ask Al Habib sallam, about who? About Allah. Isn't that the yearning in each of our, in the depths of each of our soul that we want to know about Allah? That we want to be close to Allah? That we want to be loved to Allah? That's why we come to programs like this. That's why we go to I syllabus. That's why we go with micro medrasa. That's why we make salah. That's why we prostrate. That's why we recite the Quran. We want to know you, O oh Allah. We want to be near you, O oh Allah. We want to get home. We're, we're totally exhausted and weary, O oh Allah. Exhausted and weary, O oh Allah. These sins have just worn us out. Our vices have torn us apart. It's so incredibly alienating, Allah, we can't take the punishment of this distance from you, oh Allah, any longer. Where are you, Allah? How are you, Allah? إِذَا سَأَلَكَ عَنِّ عِبَادِي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ So when, they, when we ask who, when they ask you, oh Muhammad, Allah says to him, about me, about who, about that al-aliyah, the most sublime essence that no one can approach, no one can encompass, no one can truly know. Knowing him is in your ignorance of knowing him. When they ask you about me, where, how am I with respect to them? فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ That I am close, I am near. Not just Karib, Allah said, وَهُوَ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ He's nearer to the human being than his own jugular vein. Allah is near to us, brothers and sisters, if we learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he taught us how to come to Allah, how to truly worship Allah. I answer the supplicant when he prays to me, when he makes dua, when he worships me. A dua mukhul ibadah. Dua is the essence of slavehood, of worship. We ask Allah, slave, about Allah, Allah is close. So just ask Him. When he, the supplicant asks me, I respond to His request. 
So let them respond to my request, respond to my command, which is to what? To emulate this beloved and let them believe in me that they will be guided. Brothers and sisters, the, the, the affair is extremely close. It's as close to listening to a Habib sallallahu alayhi wasallam inform you about how close your Lord really is to you. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah accept this night from us. That Allah accept this gathering, accept it from, from Shaykh Ibrahim and Shaykh Yahya and Sidi Nadir and Sidi Amir and, and, and your needy brother here and the organizers, all of you who came, that Allah accept us. Accept this from us and accept us and make us good and pure and those things that He accepts. Inna Allah tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyiba. And we ask Allah that He accept from each of us that we love Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that Allah knows that his heart loves us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by this Habib that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifts the veils of his distance from us and makes us aware of his nearness to us. By Allah's mercy, and he's the most merciful of the merciful and that Allah enable each of us to strive in giving victory to this Habib in word, in deed, in our character, and that Allah forgive the speaker first and foremost and all of us present, any of our transgressions in the past, and that Allah carry for us the tabi'at. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Please excuse me.